Oh, Ben, I'm catching up to you. Oh, no, you won't. Hi, you two. Don't you have something to say? Oh, yes, yes, you're quite right. Yes, uh, look at the soda clay pits. Ready for an adventure? Good, because today is very interesting. Breaking up is hard to do. The soda clay pits located near Brandon Docks are home to the infamous Tank Engine Twins, Bill and Ben. When Sir Topham Hat is around, everything at the clay pits seems to go like clockwork. But when he's not, things get very chaotic. The twins don't like spending hours upon hours working. They like having fun. Ben, on the count of three! One! Two, three. Stop, you two. Don't you dare bash those clay cars. But most of the time, Boko, the senior mixed traffic engine, thwarts their mischievous plans. One morning, after Sir Topham Hat left from giving the clay pit engines their talks for the day, Bill and Ben were looking at Diesel. He was struggling with some clay cars. Aren't you two gonna help me? You never asked us. Yeah, speak up next time, Diesel. Then we'll give you help. <laughs> you two, this isn't funny at all. Diesel is struggling. I'll help you, Diesel. But why would you want to help a smelly diesel? Because we all work here and we're supposed to help one another, no matter what type of engine we are. Bill and Ben felt a tad bit guilty about that, but not enough to cause their next bout of trouble. Why aren't you two doing anything except causing trouble? You know we are very short-staffed with Timothy at the Steamworks. There's nothing to do, Boko! Yes, there is. Bill, Sir Top and Pat want you to bring that line of trucks over there to the docks by tea time. Bill didn't want to do that. Of course, trucks are very troublesome. So he had a plan. <coughs> oh, Bill, you don't sound so good, and you're getting a big grain in the face. Oh, yes. I think I've got a case of boiling. I see. So can you take those trucks? You think I should, Edward? Only to keep those two at bay. Well, a boss diesel like myself must make sacrifices sometimes. But Bill knew the truth. He wasn't sick at all. He was just lazy. Boko arrived at Brandon Docks. Unfortunately, he was late because of the Bill and Ben debacle. And the ship had already left. The docks. Boko, I appreciate seeing you once more this morning, but I was expecting Bill, and you are late. What is the problem? Bill said he was sick, so I decided to take his train. I apologize for being so tardy. Hmm, no need to, but I think those two played a trick on you. That wouldn't surprise me, sir. Don't worry about this shipment, Boko. I'll arrange another ship to come and retrieve it later in the day. As for the twins, I have a plan to end their devious deeds for the day. Bill wasn't sick anymore when Sir Topham Hatt sternly called for him and his twin to meet him immediately at the docks. Boko has informed me of the little games you two have been playing. You both are causing confusion and delay, and are tampering with the integrity of our clay pits. Sir, we didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have, and I cannot take any more chances. Bill, you will be working at the coaling plant for the rest of the day, while you, Ben, will finish your work at the pits. The twins stayed silent after that. Ben was now alone with Boko, Edward, and Derek 
the teething trouble diesel at the clay pits. He was missing his twin dearly. Can't say I feel sorry for you, Ben. If you were just really useful and did help Bill with his silly plan, then perhaps you two could have stayed together. But you know how troublesome trucks can be. Bill was only protecting himself from their silliness. We all have to deal with those trucks. Just look at poor Derek over there. Derek was struggling severely with the trucks. They just giggled throughout the entire ordeal. Oh, please, trucks. Give a diesel with so many engine problems a break. Now, why don't you get over there and help poor Derek? But he hasn't asked me for any. Just be, just because he has it doesn't mean he doesn't need it. Uh, Edward? Ben's gone, isn't he? Edward was right. Instead of doing the right thing and helping out poor Derek, Ben chuffed away to go play in the pits. Even without Bill. Ah, uh, uh-oh. Help. Help. On the flip side, Bill was joking up a storm with Paxton at the coaling plant. Oh, oh, Bill, you're so funny. You were really jealous of Ben's new buffers? Of course, they were spectacular. Spectacular? They caused trouble. Mavis noticed that Bill was causing work to stop indefinitely whilst at the coaling plant. Oh, oh, sorry, Mavis. Just was uh, listening to Bill's story. Knock this off, Bill and Paxton. I have a huge line of trucks to bring to the clay pits tonight. Bill couldn't believe what he had heard. Clay pits, you say? Yeah, there's only one on the island. Oh, perfect. Then perhaps you can pass on a message to Ben. I don't have time for silly funny games, Bill. Just you and Paxton get my line of trucks. I'm a really busy... Oh, uh, sorry, Daisel. Just passing through. Oh, oh, well, Sheila bumped Daisel. Now that's funny. <laughs> oh, quite. That's a photograph-worthy moment. Diesel growled at the two. And Paxton and Bill knew he was serious about collecting his trucks immediately. This is a really long line of trucks. Why so long? What Diesel didn't know was because he didn't want to give Ben a message, Bill decided to play a trick on him. Oh, Bill, are you sure this is okay to do? Of course, not thinking you're wrong. All I did was add a few more random trucks to his load. Silly, smelly engine isn't saying anything at all. What's going on over there? Oh, uh, Paxton, nothing, Diesel. Go along, go along. Then there was trouble. Mavis had been overhearing Paxton and Bill's plan. Diesel, stop, stop. Sorry, Mavis. Bill told me to do this. Paxton, get a thicker coat of paint. Bill, how could you do this? Diesel could get in danger with that many trucks. Uh-oh. Ben was still soaking at the clay pits. Now he was wondering about what his twin could be doing at this very moment. Ben, you think you learned your lesson? I really think so, Edward. Being separated from Bill is horrible. Hmm, here, I'll make you a deal. You successfully shunt that truck over there. I'll put in good word for you with your top of hat, and maybe, just maybe, Bill will be able to join us again. Ben was ecstatic about the opportunity to finally be with his twin again. On it. But then there was trouble. Diesel was coming through the clay pits, struggling with the many, many trucks he had. This is getting too difficult for me. The trucks, of course, didn't care. We don't care. We don't care. We're at the clay pits. Let's cause some trouble. No, please. No! And with one bash, Diesel went flying down the rails. Watch out, Ben! Well, this isn't good. Not good at all. 
Ben's flatbed was underneath Diesel's wheels and his trucks were derailed in all different directions. This is terrible. Let's come on, let's get this cleaned up before... Before what? I came back. Well, to make it easier for all of you, I was in the area and decided to pay a visit to my hard-working clay pit engines. Seems my imagination is playing tricks on my reality again. Sure, I can explain. No need to! In came Bill and Paxton. This cannot be good. Bill, Paxton, what is the meaning of this? Diesel didn't want to send a message to Ben for me, so I played a trick on him and added more trucks to his load, thus causing the crash. Under these very special circumstances, I feel it would be best for Bill and Ben to be reunited and stay at the clay pits once more. Seems like problems exist when you two are separated, but take this as a fair warning. But as for you, Paxton, I would never expect you to follow along with these twins' silly plans. You will stay in your berth at the Diesel Works until I can trust you again. Of course, sir. Now, you all can clean up this mess. Luckily for all, no one was hurt. The guard was able to salvage the caboose, and Ben was able to help put Diesel on a flatbed. Don't go a visit to the Diesel Works. Diesel snickered. I wouldn't have to go there if it wasn't for you meddling Tank and your twins. Excellent job on the cleanup, all of you. All of Diesel's trucks were organized, and Sheila and Mavis were sent to collect them and bring them to their respective Sodor locations. So, Bill, did you really miss me? As much as I miss my blue paintwork. What? So not at all? I'm kidding. I wouldn't mind being painted blue again. Say, sure. Why did you keep Ben as blue anyway? To ease confusion. However, it still seems to be for many on this island. The engines laughed. Welcome home, Ben. Welcome home, Bill. And welcome home to you both. And the twins didn't want to be anywhere else except for the clay pits on the island of Sodor. They and...